I'm really excited about Isaiah 40, verse 31. It says, those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. In the King James Version, it reads like this, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, that word wait means to look for with eagerness, to linger for, to lie and wait for, to collect or to bind together, to be entwined or embraided into. So in other words, we are to, to wait upon the Lord, have an expectation, get embraided into him, get close to him, wait on him and linger with an expectation that we will have our strength renewed. And I'm so excited about strength renewal because especially, you know, as you get older, we have this promise in the word that says our strength will be renewed. So what does the word renew mean? It means to change, to substitute, to alter, to change for the better, and to show newness. Wouldn't you love your strength renewed every single day? Or like, what if you get a little bit tired throughout the day and you think, oh, I need some strength? And you realize that there's a promise in the word that says you can have it renewed, you can make, have it made absolutely new. Fresh strength all the time. A renewal all the time. How? By having an anticipation, waiting on the Lord, lingering for Him, having a, an entwining in His love, an entwining in His presence, just saying, Lord, I'm going to be embraided in You, one with You. The word strength refers to actually your human strength. So if you're feeling in your human strength that you're weak, the promise says that your strength will be renewed when you wait upon the Lord. And so as my days are, so shall my strength be. And that's a promise for you as well. But it also refers to the strength of God working in your life and the strength of angels and the strength of wealth. This is amazing. It says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew, make new their human strength, the power of the strength of the Lord in their life, the strength and activation of angels, and the strength of your prosperity. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's massive. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Then it says, they shall mount up with wings like eagles. Now, when eagles mount up, what they do is they actually just spread their wings and the wind comes up under. So eagles do not flap their wings. They just spread them and lock them. That's all they do. And then the wind carries them up high, 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 and they actually go up above the storms of life. It's just awesome. And it says they shall run and not be weary. Now the word run means to move swiftly and quickly. How many of you would like to have accelerated uh, movement in your life, accelerated projects brought to completion, um, being able to run forth with, with renewed strength to accomplish the things of God speedily? I remember we had this angel show up uh, in our lives many years ago called Swift. The angel's name was Swift, and it was actually... Um, an angel in the form of an eagle. It was like a brown eagle with gold on it. But ever since that angel showed up, everything's been accelerated ever since that time. But it says in this promise that you can move swiftly and quickly into the promises of God. So it says you will run. You will run. You shall run when you wait upon the Lord. Not only shall you gain, regain, renew your strength, but you shall mount up with wings like eagles, and you will run into your projects with swiftness. And it says, and you will not be weary. And that word weary there means to grow weary through toil or labor. In other words, when you accomplish the things of God, you'll accomplish the things of God with grace and in the peace of God. It'll be just easy. It won't be through striving, through struggling, through heavy toil or labor. It'll just be easy. Oh, I love this. So, you will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint. Now, the word walk means to go, to move forward. It's the way that you live and your manner of life. And so, as you move forward, as you live, as you display your manner of life, you won't faint. And you know what that means? You will not be fatigued. No fatigue. Now, 
I think that there's someone watching this who has chronic fatigue syndrome. I declare over you that you're going to move forward in your life with everything that you have to do to live your manner of life in the goodness of God without fatigue. The fatigue is going now in the name of Jesus. We can move through life even to the very end of our days without being fatigued. We can have every single day, as our days are, shall so our strength be, I can do everything in a day and not be fatigued. So let's read it again. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord, those that wait upon him with expectation for something good to happen, who believe that they're entwined and embraided in him, who, who linger in his presence, though that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew or regain their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That promise is for you today.